Streets are empty in one Overland Park neighborhood after a pair of shootings police confirm are connected. Tonight, families on edge and locking their doors. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom is at the 7800 block of 61st Terrace with what neighbors are saying. Cynthia. Well, they are scared and they are telling me tonight they are very protective of their children. As I look around, I don't see any kids playing on the street and that is by design because the parents here on this block will not let them. Right now, I want to bring you up to date on what's happening behind me here at the crime scene. As you look at that uh, device that's on a tripod there, it actually is measuring the distance between the bullets that were sprayed into uh, the house there, that duplex last night. Uh, some neighbors here after what happened are telling me that they are actually wanting and planning to move. No one was willing to talk with me on camera and I can understand why. Because about this time last night, a man with a semi-automatic weapon was spraying bullets into this duplex. Crime scene investigators have marked all the bullet holes in the wall and now they're searching the grass as well for any shell casings or any other evidence. 36-year-old Quashe Harris was killed last night and an 11-year-old girl was hurt, but the 11-year-old will be okay. Okay. Now let's take a look at video from last week. Last Wednesday, two men were shot to death across the street from last night's shooting. 19-year-old Falik Henderson and 18-year-old Travon Anderson were killed. Travon's body was just lying in the street. Now we're back here live looking at the crime scene. You can see the little cones there in the yard. That is where they have found some evidence in this case. Now police are not telling us how the two shootings, the one last night and the one last Wednesday, are connected, but they have confirmed the two are connected. I can tell you that neighbors tell us the two families are related. That live across the street here. And I can also tell you that the latest victim, Quashe Harris, has a criminal record. As we've checked her record, she has been arrested for forgery as well as drug charges, but we really don't know if that has anything to do with why she was shot and killed here last night. We're going to continue following this story, reporting live in Overland Park. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.